What's up, everybody? So we've had a JJK curse clash out for a while, and it's dog shit. It's a tr it's really bad. But I, I, I'm not on the boat that everybody else is on, and I think that this game, with a lot of changes, could be could be very good in a few additions as well. So I'm gonna take you through what I think are the the four biggest things that I want in this game, and I think that it would make it a very good fighting game. First up on this list we have, I I want more thematic intros and join the tanks. And the only thing that this game does fairly well, in my opinion right now, I think it really nails the 2v2 aspect. And, it, and that's the most fun part, is like when you're with a homie and you're just jumping somebody. And I think that that's the best part of it, but I don't want to be ghetto and I have Yuji on the back foot and we do a joint attack and all I'm watching is ghetto absolutely beating the brakes off of somebody with that stick like cool bro I'm, I'm really glad you can use a three prong stick but like that would allow for like some creativity like what would ghetto panda do you know like is there an interaction that's like oh you beat the brakes off me panda you know but i uh, i think that more just really double down on the 2v2 aspect and allow for more creativity like give me mahito gojo that could be interesting I don't know. There's a lot of Gojo Sukuna. That would be baller. Sukuna Yuji, like it's in their head and they're just trying to like kill each other, but instead they kill the guy. I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do with that. I just think that it's incredibly lazy to not have as much as there are. But that's my, in my opinion, I think that would make the game a lot more fun and really encourage me to use joint attacks more instead of watching one guy beat the brakes. It's not a joint attack if it's one dude. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna beat the beat beating a dead horse here, but the wake up iframes. Obviously, that's 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 an issue that everybody notices. It takes way too long. For those that don't know, when you wake up, when you're on knockdown and you wake up, let's say you just don't push anything and you just let the game wake up for you, there is a white silhouette that appears around your character. That silhouette represents your iframes. That silhouette stays there for a, a very long time. And that it only goes away if you do an action out of it, mostly in, um, like, you can dash out of it, you can jump out of it, and that won't trigger the iframes to fall. But if you say, um, if you're Gojo and you guard, and then you get, in, uh, th that, I didn't even think about that, but something like with Gojo, I think he can just turn on invincibility if he had a curse energy, and he, it's just free for him. So there's a lot of things like situations like that where, or even like Sukuna, Sukuna could just wake up armor move and he he's safe. Like what can you do about that? Unless you're Yuji, I guess, and, or any other character that uses an armored move, but you'd have to read that. This game, <clears throat> there's a lot of characters that like want to have Oki, but you can't really play Oki in this game. Unless you're a guy like Mahito and you just spam kids, which is what a, a mother in the boomer era would do but i think that if you change those iframes a bit just make it just significantly less like I, I don't need it to be like if you're on the ground and immediately you wake up you have no iframes encourage some iframes but i don't want to be punished for trying to play oki on somebody especially a sukuna sukuna is a problem with that Oh, this is, this is, I think, a big one, and I think if they do this change, that this game is all of a sudden good. Have combos do, do some damage. Some damage. I, I, I don't... Uh, this game, it's really tough for me, because this game is fun, but, like, it, let's take Gojo, for example. I, there is a combo that's really cool with Gojo, right? And it's, um, it's the triangle combo, and it looks awesome. All it does is build up curse meter, which is great. Which is great in this game, and that's a great incentive to do it. But why would I do that when I could spam auto combo, get, get some cursed meter, and throw some damage in? Now, obviously, there's a caveat to that, right? Like, I don't need, I don't need crazy mad damage because guys like Gojo, Sukuna, Yuta, all, all the, or even Megami. Megami's a great example. The combo with the, the dog or the bird or like or any puppet character, I think that becomes a, an issue potentially. So I think just having some damage in there, have some more encouragement to do those combos because outside of building curse meter, like why would I do those? 
there's no point to it other than like um I guess there's some like positioning examples like Gojo knocks somebody away and then goes jump somebody else. Sukuna, he could stomp, build a lot of curse meter, maybe knock somebody back, reset neutral, which is cool. That's cool. That's great fighting game mechanics, but I think that there's no other like if I'm Sukuna, I have a great there's a great example of it on the channel. I the first time I played this game with a bunch of my buddies, I picked up Sukuna at some point towards the end of the video. And that entire match, I, I didn't do anything but spam Fire Arrow and Infinite Cuts. And occasionally try to get Tsukuna's Domain, but I don't think I did. But th th it worked! It, it worked extremely well, just because 1-1, one, one, Tsukuna's busted. <laughs> I think he's the best character in the game. But at the same time, I it's, in, it's weirdly encouraged for you to spam moves in neutral, because that's the only thing that does damage. And the only other thing that you can do is spam auto combo to get some damage in, because triangle or any other combo doesn't do anything. And it's a shame because I think that it would it would if you did have some sort of if you had those combos do some sort of damage, you kind of inherently buff characters and nerf some characters. Like if I'm Toto, what's the purpose of doing boogie woogie? Aside from positioning, I guess. But that's extremely situational. Extremely situational, and to be honest, it, it almost puts you in a bad place because now, even though you can punish off of it, if you're gonna boogie woogie, what are you already used some of your curse meter to do the technique, right? And odds are you can't use three more bars to back flash, so you're left building more curse meter, and it's like, okay, well, that's redundant unless I have full curse meter with, with Toto. So I, I just think that there's there's a lot of examples like him, Maki, um, who else would do? I, I just think that there's some people that really need that, really need that. Especially, oh, a great example of this is um, Hanami. I actually think Hanami is the worst character in the game. And the only reason I say that is because even though she has great range, she has great neutral, I think the minute you learn to block or, or dash, dash OS, you... There's nothing she can do against you. She has a few get off get off me moves, but if you again if you block those, they don't do damage. So with Hanami, you don't even need to really care about any of the stuff other than her auto combo, her get off me move, which does, uses curse meter and this curse technique and does damage. But even her neutral tool, when she does the trees and spams those things from the sky, that doesn't do damage. That just builds her curse meter. Which is, again, cool, but I uh, have some incentive to play defense and not spam moves. Um, and th this is the last one. I think this kind of falls in with the previous one. Reduce the hit decay to encourage some more combo creativity. I, I, I think that this game, um, if you double down on the thematic intros and joint attacks and really make it a vibe of a 2v2 game, I think that's great, but to, in conjunction with that, if you can reduce hit decay and encourage team combos, where if I'm Gojo, I can do an awesome move, then Sukuna holds down circle and just teleports and yeets him, and then Gojo auto combos into red, ugh, it's disgusting. And stuff like that would be awesome, and the combo creativity, the team synergy, I think that there would be a lot of creativity in that. And if all these other things are implemented, having combos do some more damage in the iframes, it could really, it could make it games a lot more quicker. Because another thing I have a gripe with, and I have this gripe with fighters too, is that the games are really long. I think the games are really long. If there's a good team comp, it's painfully long, and it doesn't need to be that way. I think make the games quicker, make it more efficient, and you'll make it more fun. Um, and to be honest, that's kind of it. I, I don't... Uh, I know everybody's kind of on the train. I've, I've been like on YouTube and on Twitter, and people really are just like either yay or nay with this. Majority nay. A lot of people hate this game. And to be honest, I, I get it. Visually, we're just not... It's just nowhere near J JJK standards, and it's atrocious. I can't believe how lazy the animation was. Story mode is BS. They just literally took screenshots from the show. I just think that there's so much that they could have done, and it's extremely lazy. 
boring and not fun unless you have friends. Like, I gen- I tried playing online matches by myself and just, like, run- running the ones, but, man, it just was not fun. I was bored as hell because I'm just tr- I'm, I'm Sukuna trying to get infinite cuts or fire arrow, and I'm like, man, this is not a good fighting game. But I, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna give up on it yet, even though I really should, because it's just a, it's a terrible fighting game, man. Why? Oh god, I'm gonna get mad just talking about it. But those are my thoughts. I think those changes alone would really, really polish this game into something that's tolerable, or at the very least, good. And I, honestly, maybe I should make a video on this later. But I, the, the. I, there's a theme recently, like in the last few couple years, of games being released not finished. And this is a great example of that. And hopefully that changes in the future, but honestly, maybe we just have to start voting with our wallets. Um, and shout out to Lotus, as if he needs a shout out, but... Comments, let me know the changes that you want made to Curse Clash that you think will make the game better. I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. God bless.